Hey everyone! Today I'm going to bring you on a tour of the JLC PCB factory. In upcoming videos, I plan to visit more places like this in Shenzhen and introduce you to interesting local Chinese. But in order to do that, we have to talk about the role of English in China. It takes about 10 years of specialized study for Chinese to become fluent in English without living abroad. This means that unlike many countries where nearly everyone at a certain level of education speaks English fluently, it's a quite specialized skill here. A lot of our best and brightest can concentrate almost entirely on their fields of study. And often that means setting aside real fluency in English. Although most engineers and scientists can read English for their work, many aren't that comfortable speaking it. If you've ever been frustrated trying to explain a technical problem to someone at a Chinese company doing customer support, this is why. Chances are they're an English major with little knowledge of engineering. Employees who are both technical and speak English are rare and can demand high salaries. What this means is when I bring you places, I can introduce you to the most knowledgeable interesting people or I can introduce you to ones who speak English but who often don't have as in-depth knowledge. When you see me interact with people in my videos, even though they think I'm unusual, I'm still local, still a fellow Chinese. There is no cultural barrier but as soon as I turn to the camera and speak English, I find that changes. People are more guarded. They wonder what I'm saying Am I talking about them? Imagine I walk through an American factory pointing at workers and chattering away in Chinese. It would be uncomfortable. I'm sure the American workers will be polite and friendly anyway, just as we Chinese are. But you would get a less open, authentic view of those people and their environment. What I want to do is show you these places as a Chinese person how we interact and speak to each other, I think it offers a deeper experience. As far as the video goes, you are fellow Chinese on a tour, and I'm going to talk to you in Chinese, with subtitles of course. Now, I know that's a little inconvenient, but it also means I can give you much more precise translations of what the engineers are saying. With all the nuance that gets left out when you do quick interpretation on the spot. The other thing is I have a pretty strong local accent, and while I'm considered very articulate in Chinese, no one would mistake me as having anything but a working class background. I don't want any workers thinking I'm any kind of fancy girl, too good to work the line right beside them if I ever needed to. I'm just a local girl made good, the daughter of factory workers. These are my people and it's important to me to interact with them in a respectful way. And by doing that, maybe I can give you a peek into real Chinese lives. I want you to see these places through my eyes or as close as I can get you. So please make sure to click the CC button on the lower right of this YouTube window and select your language. Then in the comments, let me know what you think. Did it work? Did you feel a bit closer, more of a fly on the wall, or was the reading too troublesome? I'll make sure future videos reflect everyone's preference.我们现在在这个加力创第一部分 这么大一块儿, 
的这么这么大。然后这里是他们是有大大料大料面板，耶！然后那如果这里面是两个分流的一个挡风的那个旁边线，后面那个机器干嘛的？对，那个是从那边连着给让它摆了下来，分成了两边，那边开的快，那边跑的慢。二个部分，第一个部分就是从小裁剪，从大变成小，大再叠到一起。有很多人就想看那种压板，压板。对，压板的呀，我们后面可以去看有。这个要升起来吗？升起来，把这个升起来吗？对对,对。好，升起来吧。来。你好。<笑>把这个台面升起来。谢谢谢谢，来正来，哇，我靠！现在还是在做，这是六孔的还是两孔的？六六个轴的。六个六个。最精彩的还是看他换那个换头的。对，这样的话我们可以接下来那台已经算完了。那里有感应器，哦，有啊、呃，有感应器，对，消音机，消音的，对，把这板子，这一些，刚刚对，就是把那个钉子，把它放进去，然后就把它把那个板子拆开来，对吧？对，消音就是在这个部分做。一个一个自己自动画像下来，对，自动自动放自动接。One by one。还有这个收尾，那得还有呢。那我们现在参观的就是那个导线交线。导线交线。就是让铜里面有铜。哦，明白。就布铜在上面玩的铜。然后像这里就是入料。然后这里是微石。啊，里面放的是什么啊？里面放的是。酸。Very good。这个是灯光。出来一些板子，我们进去。哇，我要看一下这个。这里就已经，刚刚所说的，进完导电胶之后，这个是已经涂上干膜曝光，也就是说上面是有弧形的了。经过这里是一个涂电线，就是这孔头本来很薄嘛，经经过这里加电之后才能达到那个厚度，就我们说正常使用的一个厚度，半安一安十。这个要换。终于知道这个为什么黏黏的。那个是起到一个粘层的一个作用，就是防止尘进入。起到一个除尘的一个作用。<笑>对。
啊，这边开门。这个它只要是板太多So here are my LED rings. It's not finished yet, but wow, it's huge. Label of 
designed by Naomi Wu, created by JLC PCB. Voila! <laughs> 谢谢 Okay, that's the JLC PCV factory. They are my new sponsor and I'm going to be working with them on some really cool projects and doing some of the same community liaison work you've seen me do with Creality. Helping them contribute more to the hardware community open source advocacy, trying to improve communications and making sure JLC understands what their overseas customers want and why they want it. So here is version one of the rings. Next time, I'm going to solder on the surface mount components and see if it works. See if my first real product is ready to go on sale. If you're in electronics and already designed PCBs, please consider using my link to JLC in the description box. By supporting my sponsors, you show them I'm worth supporting. I, I really appreciate it. And I think it's important to show Chinese companies how important community engagement is. That's it for today. I'll see you all next time. And remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.